Born November 6, 1997 in the Caribbean Republic of Cuba, 23-year-old USA Olympic athlete Ariel Torres was only four years old when he immigrated to the United States with his family. He describes himself as a hyperactive child and his parents were advised by doctors to get him involved in an activity to keep him busy. Just down the street was the local martial arts school and the beginning of an Olympic dream. So I started karate when I was five years old. My parents put me in there because the doctor says I was hyperactive and they wanted me to spend energy, all the energy I had so I could go home and sleep because if not, I wouldn't sleep. So my parents put me in the nearest karate to the dojo that was walking distance because we only had one car and my dad had to drive. So it was luck. I was lucky to have stumbled upon WKF karate as my first type of karate. And, and then I've been doing it for years to come and then I just recently started doing NASCA and that's opened another window of opportunity. So I'm kind of, I'm doing both as much as I can because there's great things in both that help one another. When Ariel started martial arts at age six, his family happened upon a traditional karate program for his training. Martial arts originates primarily from East Asia and is made up of many different styles, each with its own unique features. For example, the style of Taekwondo, also part of the 2021 Summer Olympics, began in Korea and focuses a lot on high kicking techniques. Karate, the style Ariel trains in, is from Japan and has low strong stances and powerful blows. Wushu is from China and is more fluid in motion, while Judo, another Summer Olympic sport, hails from Japan and emphasizes throws and takedowns. Ariel's martial arts roots are traditional Japanese Okinawan karate that is part of the World Karate Federation, also known as the WKF. Soon after he started his training, he began to try competition. Although his family had little money, they sacrificed and sought out support so that Ariel could follow his competition dreams. After participating in traditional WKF events throughout his childhood, as he reached his teens, Ariel discovered the world of open sport martial arts tournaments. Unlike his traditional experiences, open tournaments allowed him to compete against martial artists from a variety of styles. Open sport martial arts events offer uniform rules so that regardless of the martial arts origin, emphasis or style, all martial arts can compete on an equal playing field. The largest open sport martial arts league in the United States is the North American Sport Karate Association, also known as NASCA. NASCA has offered world-level open martial arts competition since 1986 and along with traditional martial arts divisions, provides a showcase for more modern martial arts competitors with creative divisions that allow for martial arts acrobatics and tricking as well as the discipline of point sparring similar to fencing, where competitors engage in combat that demonstrates execution of technique without damage to the opponent. Ariel found success in open martial arts competition, which gave him more confidence and a larger fan base. Over the years, Ariel has earned many martial arts titles at major open world level events such as the Compete Internationals, the AKA Warrior Cup, US Open ISKA World Martial Arts Championships, US Capital Classics, the Diamond Nationals, and the Battle of Atlanta. His participation in a variety of competition experiences culminated in Ariel's decision to focus on a singular goal, competing in the Olympics. When WKF Karate was approved as an Olympic sport for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan, Ariel recognized the path to his dream and began the hard work needed to become an Olympian. To get to the Olympics, Ariel needed to qualify, which meant a whole new level of competition for him. His prior experiences in WKF events and open sport martial arts had prepared him for the rigor of daily training, constant travel, and the pressure of elite competition. 
By 2017, he was the number one rated American competitor for WKF Karate in the Olympics, and his path was becoming more clear. The Olympics are just one year away, a year and five months away. It's in August mm -hmm. of 2020. I have the biggest goal in the world to go there and win. Therefore, I know that I have to do everything for the next year and a half to get there, and I'll do everything it takes. I have 24 hours in a day. It's split exactly how it's supposed to. I have enough time to rest. I have enough time to work. I have enough time to just keep getting better and better and better and better and better every day. But fate created one of the most formidable obstacles Ariel and all the other Olympic hopefuls had ever faced. In March 2020, the world shut down as the COVID-19 worldwide pandemic stopped travel, stopped competitors, and postponed the Olympics. Ariel had already placed himself as the top Olympic hopeful for Team USA after success in WKF competitions in Chile, Peru, and Panama in 2018 and 2019. The setback was disappointing because it meant Ariel had to requalify for a spot on Team USA, but he was unstoppable and excelled despite the delay. He took a bronze in Istanbul, Turkey and was able to officially qualify for the USA Olympic team through competition in France 2021. He worked even harder, won more accolades, and was even chosen as one of the athletes for the coveted Got Milk sponsorship campaign along the way. Ariel's impact on the traditional and open sport martial arts competition community is vast. He has over a quarter of a million views on YouTube and produces his own Olympic travel vlog which follows his adventure. Countless fans will be watching as he achieves his lifelong dream of competing in the Olympics and representing his country and his sport. Whatever the outcome, his attitude, outlook and spirit embody exactly what martial arts is all about. We are proud that sport martial arts competition was a part of the foundation that built the exceptional athlete that Ariel Torres has become. And we are proud of him and thrilled that he is a member of our sport martial arts community. We encourage you to try sport martial arts so you can be like Ariel. Oh, and uh, one last request. Please help share Ariel's story and show your support.